Hi everybody, welcome back to Suburban Home Center, Wyoming, Arizona. This is Sandy, and what do you do when you don't have a pot to plant in? I mean, that's so funny. <laughs> well, you make a pot. You can make your own pot out of some wire, some burlap, and some yarn. You could use zip ties if you didn't have any yarn, or you could use a combination. And I'm going to show you exactly how I made this. Now, it may be too cold for you to do it right now where you are, but you know what else you can do with that? You can put holiday ornaments in it until it's warm enough for you to plant in it. So what do I have to start out with? I need some plants, of course. And you can use whatever kind you want, vining, whatever. I need some burlap, and I have some dark colored burlap. I'm using pinking shears. I have to be able to cut my wire. I need some twine and I'm using chicken wire today, though you could use welded wire. But if you start to unroll it and it's kind of like upside down how you're unrolling it and then you're just pressing as you go, it flattens it out so it doesn't want to roll back onto itself. So that's just a trick that I do. And I'm just outside and on my little table that we eat outside with and I'm just gonna spread that out and then I'm just gonna nip all that wire. Now on both sides of that wire, it's very smooth, but I'm actually gonna cut that wire in half, and so it'll have some raw edges on there, and I have to decide how wide it is, and I'm just gonna do it basically straight in half. So I laid it on top of my burlap. I want about two inches on the smooth side, and just maybe an inch on the rough side. So I'm taking my pinking shears, and I'm just gonna cut along there, I'm not measuring, I'm just guessing about that inch mark on that side. And then it's a matter of rolling it up. Now you can make it very cylinder or you can make it cone shaped. And so the one that we're gonna put the plants in, I'm gonna bend it so that it's much more cylinder, cylindrical. Um, now see how it has where I clipped uh, you know, I took my pliers and I nipped all that. And so I'm going to kind of just weave some of those sharp edges into the burlap and bend them over just so it makes the burlap stay with it as I start to, to bend it. Now you could have this as narrow or as wide as you wanted to. The chicken wire is plenty strong enough, plenty heavy duty enough so that it will hold soil and your plants in there. And then I just start folding it up and I am going off kiltered because I want to make it as long as possible. And it gives it more stability with that burlap in between those layers. So when I get to where I'm happy and at the end, I'm going to actually bend that, that edge into the center and it will help hold it. And I'll show you the other little tricks I'm going to do to make that hold. Now you could make your burlap just twist in like that and stay there if you wanted to. But I want to do some stuff with that, that edge, that, that part of the burlap. For the bottom, I'm going to actually fold it together like I would a package. So I do the one sides and then I fold the other sides into, a, into themselves. And I'll use some zip ties to make those stay in there. When I, we go to do the other one, I'll show you what I'm going to do and keep it completely um, like a cylinder or like a cone. This one's going to be the cylinder. Now see here, see how you could just tuck that in? And that would be totally okay. There's not anything right or wrong with it. I just happen to like what it looks like when it's kind of flipped over because it's, um, I, I just find it attractive. So I'm going to take some tiny zip ties and because that flap will come back over, it will hide where the zip ties are. So I'm just sending them through and then I'll clip off the extra. And I'm just gonna go around and probably put about four of those in there just so that the burlap stays up how I want it to. And see how you can just clip that? And so that's plenty enough. They're just tiny, tiny zip ties that I'm using right now. But see how I like that flap. And so I'm gonna use a couple zip ties on the bottom also, just to hold it where I want it to. 
Now I'm going to use a grocery sack inside to hold my dirt in there because if you water and water and water and you didn't have anything it, it would come through those little, little tiny holes in the burlap and I don't want that. Now you could use other things. You could use um, paper. You could use a diaper. See it's kind of attractive. When the plants get really large it's going to disappear but it's okay. So I just tuck that garbage can in there. I kind of pushed it into the chicken wire and I'm going to fill it up with soil. You can arrange your flowers however you want to, but I'm putting the tall red flowers in the center and the pansies around the outside. So I'm just pushing that soil up. I don't usually use gloves as most of you know, but I have a meeting to go to in a little bit and so I don't want my hands all full of dirt. I'm going to tease those roots a little bit and I'm just going to push that in there. I could leave it just like that. I could. It would be a beautiful little planter. But because I'm going to smash those pansies in there and they're large pansies, they'll actually kind of drape down. And that's what I want. And so I have four of those purple pansies to, to go all the way around. I like different textures and different leaves um, in a planter. I just find it interesting. You think I wouldn't have enough room for all five of these plants, but there's really plenty of room and it's real deep and the, the roots will go down. After I get all the plants in there, I will take some soil and fill any air pockets that might be there because I want it to be really solid. When I water, it, it always will make the soil settle. So I want to make sure I have a, enough in there. Now, how am I going to attach it? I'm actually taking some great big zip ties. They're a little work to get them through because you don't want them just through the burlap. You have to catch some of that metal. So sometimes you have to go from one direction and then pull it out and go to the other direction. Don't get frustrated. It'll work. And I'm going to use three of them. I think that's plenty enough strength to hold mine up in the air onto our little um, uprights on our patio. And you just play with it and then all of a sudden it goes through. I'm going to take that over and we're going to attach it onto the post. So I have one of them already attached and then it has these little swirly things on those posts and I'm just going to zip tie them and I'll cut off all the extra. But that's plenty enough even when it's filled with water when the soil gets heavier it's pl plenty enough strength to hold it there. I'll pull that tight snip those off and then we'll look at it from the front. And here we go and give it a couple weeks and it will fill in even more and it'll be just beautiful. I'm going to slowly drizzle the water in there because I don't want it to overflow and lose soil. I want it to get completely filled with moisture though. If it at all starts to sag, I'll send another big zip tie through, but I like it. It'll be fun in a couple weeks. It'll really fill out and the bees will like it and it'll be interesting to see if the hummingbirds come over to look at it because it's really close to the hummingbird feeder. But it's an easy way when you don't have a pot to plant in. So let's do the other one. Now this one is going to be very much cone shaped. It's not as big and I just fold it like I did before. I kind of poke some of that wire through so I can reach in there and bend it back onto itself so it wants to stay. But I will use some zip ties to hold it on too. But see it's very cone shaped and because I'm putting just the bulbs in there I wouldn't I don't have to necessarily put as many zip ties or anything to hold it together as much because there's not really hardly any weight at all to it. But I'm going to send a zip tie through the back so that it holds it together and see how you can just send it right through the burlap through the wire and then send it back so it attaches to both burlap and to the wire. It's really easy to do. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm not going to actually hang this one. So I have some heavy duty twine. It's four layers. It'll hold 20 pounds and this will never weigh 20 pounds. And then on the bottom I'm going to enclose close it up by just some twine. 
instead of folding it back onto itself. And really, it will hold some plants if I wanted it to. So I'm going to have it hanging. I put some, crunch some paper in there, um, some tinsel. And then I'm going to just add fun things to it. Bulbs, um, ribbon, anything that I have. I have some pine cones just to make it festive. Again, there's hardly any weight to it. It'll look perfect um, right on our porch. I, I can see it right when I look out my kitchen window. So there it is. Very festive, very fun. Something you can do right now when it's too cold for you to plant outside. And after Christmas, I'll take those things out and I'll plant something in there. But I really like how it turned out. It's very festive and it didn't cost me anything. I had everything here. So if you're putting plants in it or if you're putting Christmas ornaments, make a pot when you don't have a pot. Always like, subscribe, share with the world. And I hope you have a wonderful Christmas season. Don't forget all the things you can do.